سنسیرٹی But actually they have a different character. Within them there is something else. This character is now being discussed. And this is actually the character of the Munafiqeen. And the person here actually that is in the background is Abdullah ibn Ubayi, the, the chief of the Munafiqeen. وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يُعْجِبُ كَقَوْلُهُ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَيُجْحِدُ اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا فِي قَلْبِهِ And he repeatedly calls on Allah to witness. Or whatever is in his heart. By God I am sincere. By God I swear by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whatever I am saying is I am saying out of sincerity. At most sincerity. وَهُوَ عَلَدُّ الْخِسَامِ While in reality he is the most stubborn quarreling person. And he is most quarreling of the opponents. Of the enemies. عَلَدُّ الْخِسَامِ وَإِذَا تَوَلَّا It can be translated in two ways. When he turns his back, he goes, goes away from you after talking. Or it can be mean also tawalla, walaya. If he gets power, then what he does? Saafi fil ardi ya yustada fiha. Now he goes and struggles to have mischief in the world, on, the, on this earth. Wa yuhlik al-harsa wa nasl. And he wants to destroy the tillage, the crops, and the cattle. And Allah loves not, Wallahu la yuhibbul fasad. Allah doesn't like corruption and mischief. وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُ اتَّقِ اللَّهِ And when it is said to him, have fear of Allah, mend your ways, what are you doing? You shouldn't do it like that. When you go to the Prophet, you are so sweet. You are talking, you know, so sweetly. You are... Time and again calling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to witness. And now what are you doing? When you are not in his presence, your attitude is absolutely opposite. How come? But you must have some fear of Allah. You must bend your ways. His false sense of respect and honor, he makes, it makes him stick to his sin. How can he admit that I did something wrong? I can't admit. My honor, my self-respect doesn't allow me. I cannot go and accept the guilt that I have, that I have done this. فَحَسْبُهُ جَهَنَّمْ So for him, Jahannam is sufficient. وَنَبِيَسَ الْبِحَاد And that is a very bad place, resting place. On the contrary, I told you in the Quran, it's a general practice, simultaneous contrast. When we have discussed one character of Munafiqeen, now the character of the Mu'mineen, as Salihin, as Sadiqeen, the true Mu'min. وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَشْرِي نَفْسَهُ اتِّغَى بَرْضَاتِ اللَّهِ And from the same people, there are those also, who sell themselves, sell their lives, Sell their money. What does it mean? They give their life. They give their money. Ibtigha mardat illa. What for? To get the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are ready to sacrifice everything. Wallahu raufum bil ibad. And surely Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very gracious with his bondmen, with his servants. Ya ayuhal ladheena amanu dkhulu fi silme kaafa. O you who profess to believe. Enter Islam. And what is Islam? Submission to Allah. But enter in this totally. Not partially. Kaafatan. As a whole. Your whole personality. Your whole life should be. In the form of submission. Before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not only a part of it. Praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bowing before him in ruku and sujood. But when you go out from the mosque. You are contravening the laws of Sharia. Now you just forget 
that riba is haram, interest is haram. Get anything at mortgage, just sign a pact, sign a form, and that is you get the best car, you get a very good bungalow, and there you just forget that what is halal and what is haram. So this is not entering Islam totally; it's only partial. And yesterday we read that ayah. Do you accept a part of our scripture and law and Sharia and reject the other part? There can be no punishment for those who take to this attitude, except that they should be put to extreme humiliation in this world, in this life. And on the day of judgment, they should be thrown in the worst of punishments. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu dkhulu fi silmi kaffa Enter Islam But totally Wa la tattabi'u khutawati shaitan And don't follow the footsteps of shaitan Innahu lakum adubu mubin Verily he is a clear enemy to you Fa in zalaltum And if you slip Min baad ma jaad kumul bayyinat After All these clear teachings having come to you فَعْلَمُوا أَنَّ اللَّهَ عَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ Now keep in mind, Allah has all the authority, almighty, and He is the wise. If before coming of this Qur'an, you were doing something wrong, there could be some excuse. After all these things have been revealed to you, after this Mu'izah has come to you, after this guidance has been revealed to you, now if you slip from the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from the path of the Sharia, then you will be brought to the book that Allah is Almighty. هَلْ يَنْظُرُونَ إِلَّا يَأْتِيَهُمُ اللَّهُ فِي ظُلَلِ مِنَ الْغَبَابِ What are they waiting for? You know there is a weakness with, all, with many of the human beings. They go on postponing. I shall become good after some days. Let me do this and let me do this, then I will adopt the full Sharia. Before that, I have these things to perform and these duties to perform. So he goes on, goes on postponing his Islam. His actual practice of Islam, he goes on, goes on post postponing. And maybe the death takes him, overtakes him. What will happen? Hal Yanzuruna. What far they are waiting? Are they waiting for that day, that day of judgment, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will come in the shadows of the clouds? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will descend on earth. We, we don't know how, but He will. There will be a descent. Well, and the angels will also come. And all the matters will be decided and settled forever. What does it mean? Then it will be the decision, final judgment. There will be no possibility of any apologies. There will be no possibility of going back, returning to the world, of repenting, of mending the ways. Then actually everything will be decided for, for good. And towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be returned all the matters. 